Hi, everybody. I'm John Curley, and I'm happy to be able to celebrate the entire week celebrating with you. Today's AGC Build Washington Awards event is extra special as we recognize the most prestigious of these awards. AGC of Washington is proud to have our Culture of Care program recognized and adopted by AGC of America and launched across the country at this year's annual convention. At AGC, we understand that the keys to workforce development, company culture, and psychological safety are having a diverse and inclusive workplace. Last year, we launched a revised Champion of Diversity Award into this awards program to really highlight the good work being done, as well as the need to expand these efforts. Not long after the launch of Culture of Care initiatives to all of our chapters, our nation faced some very tense and emotional times and we remain steadfast in our commitment to end everyday racism and sexism on the job. All right, here comes our first award, and we'd like to welcome AGC Board President, Kurt Gimmestad. This year's award goes to Cosmo Construction for their outstanding efforts on the Grant Center for the Expressive Arts for Tacoma Public Schools. The diverse business participation goal for the project was 51%. The actual participation for the project was 85%. Corsmo and their diversity and inclusion manager, Rachel Pease, are fully committed to the culture of care and apply, commit, attract, and retain, and empower in every aspect of contracting. The Corsmo culture is based on social and economic responsibility to their people, subcontractors and the greater community. They're committed to educating and sharing their passion for social and economic responsibility to all of their subcontractors, whether they are first tier, third tier or other. Corsmo will continue to work with all employees and all of their subcontractors to build their diversity program to the highest degree possible. Congratulations to Corsmo for your exceptional work. All right, up next, we recognize Excellence in Innovation Award and the winner is XL Pacific for their Block 11 Wastewater Heat Recovery System. Wastewater from the apartments is stored in a vault located in the garage. Water source heat pumps are connected to the closed loop in the heat exchangers inside the vault and use the wastewater as a source of energy to heat domestic hot water. Congratulations to Excel Pacific. I'm proud to introduce Elaine Irvin from Moss Adams, our event sponsor and catalyst for our Moss Adams Community Service Award. It is my pleasure to present the AGC Moss Adams Community Service Award. An important part of Moss Adams culture is giving back to the community, communities where we live and work. We know that the act of giving provides so much to the recipient, such as comfort, support, empowerment, and joy. This year's winner has been doing just that when they began volunteering at the Little Bit Therapeutic Writing Center in 2013. The center uses horses to transform bodies, minds, and the spirits of people with disabilities, promoting confidence, independence, and improving communication and interaction. As a company, they have volunteered over 2,500 hours and donated over $43,000. In summary, Little Bit's facilities director, Wayne Miller, stated it best. Little Bit has been truly blessed as it relates to this company's efforts. I would like to personally thank every single one of you that participated over the years with Little Bit Therapeutic Writing Center. Their selfless giving has improved the lives of many. Please join me in congratulating Swinnerton Construction, the 2020 AGC Moss Adams Community Service Award winner. Little Bit is a nonprofit um, that serves adults and children with disabilities. For me, uh, you know, Little Bit is a life changing um, job for me. You know, at Swinnerton, we feel very fortunate to work for such a great company, and it's a core value of ours to give back to the community. We provide two flagship programs. The first is adaptive riding, and then the second is hippotherapy. So, adaptive riding is your traditional horseback riding lesson that's just been um, adjusted so people with special needs can still ride. 
And then hippotherapy is led by either a speech language pathologist, an occupational therapist, or a physical therapist, depending on what the, the client's needs are. At Swinerton, uh, it really does start, start at the top down from our CEO, Jeff Hoops, the president, Eric Foster, that just gives back in so many ways. And I think it, myself as a division manager, uh, when you're out there you know, with everyone else, um, it just means a, a lot more. Winterton after they leave has really gotten more out of it than, than people imagine and we have been so blessed to get work from the community that this is this is our small way of giving back so that we know that everything is going full circle, it's pay it forward and that's what we really believe here at Swinerton is pay it forward. I've watched a little girl take her very first seven steps through my office when she was told she was never going to be able to walk. And a six-year-old little boy had his feeding tube removed because um, the doctors attributed it to all the core strength he was able to build. So to be able to see that at work on a day-to-day -day basis just is huge. You know, Swinerton's been coming out since 2013, so that's, you know, five, six years of them helping us out. And it's just not like once or twice a year. Uh, they're out more four or five times, six times a year to help us out. Without our work groups, the facility itself just couldn't operate. And volunteer work groups are really the starting point to build relationships. So that's how we then receive funders. Um, it's how people find out about our mission to be able to receive services. So um, it's sort of the, the driving force behind the entire program. To be able to give back not just money that we've been able to do, but also just to get all of us at Swinerton to go out there and build something uh, for just a great cause and purpose has been exciting. Swinerton has contributed over $43,000 worth of donations to our mission. Um, you guys have served over 1,400 hours of service since 2013, which for an organization of our size who really is dependent on volunteer service is huge. You've built, I think, up to eight loafing sheds, a wheelchair lift and mounting block for our patients, um, two tractor sheds, you painted, landscaped, I, the list goes on and on and on. And this is what everyone's doing where they can. There's some people that can't give, so they give their money. There's people that don't have a lot of money, but they give their time. And all of this pays into paying back to these children, getting something that no one ever thought would be possible for them to do. You take it for granted that your kids come out healthy and they're going to be running and crawling and doing this all by a certain age. And when a parent is told that your kids will never sit up or be able to talk or be able to walk, and then you see that these kids are going onto these horses and they're getting strength and they're, they're getting therapy to learn how to talk. There is a rider dad who was watching you guys build the loving sheds and he was so inspired that he immediately walked into the office to donate um, for some of the lumber to make it all happen. And then he also signed up as an individual volunteer. So that to me, it just shows, you know, how inspiring one group or one person can be and how we rely on just that one person or that one group to make it all happen. Wow, Elaine, thanks for sharing that video, and no wonder Swinerton was selected for this honor. One thing is for certain, the remarkable projects and programs and engagements we've seen from all of our winners this week is a true testament to the people of construction. And where would we be without the bold leadership of individuals that keep us on track even in the toughest of times or the most challenging projects? To that end, we are thrilled to recognize some true legends in the industry. For our first exceptional individual award is the Superintendent of the Year. For someone who goes the extra mile to protect worker safety while managing complex work, this year's winner takes a personal approach to safety. He knows everyone by name on his project while has fostered a genuine mutual respect between him and his project teams. Managing work in a remote project that the general public is driving through creates unique and challenging variables in addition to the dedication to clear and open communication with his teams. His most recent project was the I-90 Snoqualmie Pass East, a $177 million project that widened I-90 from two to three lanes. We proudly salute Jay Teske of Guy F. Atkinson as the AGC Washington 2020 Superintendent of the Year. 
Another critical position to the success of any contractor is the project manager. This year's project manager is a testament to leveraging relationships for the greater good and building consensus and engagement with his teams. He has 16 years of heavy civil construction management experience in a variety of transportation contracts. Congratulations to Reggie Wakeman from Guy F. Atkinson as the AGC of Washington 2020 Project Manager of the Year. What a year it has been for so many contractors. Having a reliable and diligent safety professional to guide our companies through unprecedented times. This year's Brian Salzgiver Safety Professional of the Year is a 16-year veteran of the business with zero OSHA recordables under his supervision while managing over $120 million worth of work. His role covers 10 to 20 projects at any given time, and he still finds time to work on safety handbooks and volunteer in his community. Hats off, or should I say hard hats off, to AGC of Washington 2020 Safety Professional of the Year, Brandon Hubert from Turner Construction. And now for the grandest awards, we have two special guest messages. But before we do that, we'd also take time to thank our judges, both in construction and safety. I'm going to throw it back over to Kurt from Absher Construction to announce our 2020 Build Washington Construction Grand Award. Kurt. Thanks, John. As John mentioned, I'm Kurt Jimistad, the 2020 AGC of Washington Board President. I hope you have been enjoying the awards program this week. It is my honor and pleasure to announce the Grand Construction Award winner of the year. The award goes to a great Pierce County contractor, Corsmo Construction, for the Rehabilitate Paradise Inn project. Congratulations. The next award is the Grand Safety Award. I want to take a moment and thank the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries for the long-term working relationship that we have shared with them. Construction workers in the state of Washington are safer because of the relationship. Presenting the Grand Safety Award is the Director of Labor and Industries, Joel Sachs. Hi, I'm Joel Sachs, the Director of the Department of Labor and Industries. And I want to thank you for once again allowing us to participate in the annual AGC Safety Awards. This is an incredibly important time of year where we can get together and celebrate the incredibly important work that so many of you do each and every day to ensure that construction workers across the state get to go home to their families at the end of the day. I know 2020 has been an incredibly strange year, and I want to thank everyone at the AGC for your ongoing commitment to worker safety. As many of you know, AGC was on the front line working with worker advocates and other organizations to come up with the first industry agreement to enable the construction industry to reopen and return to work safely. And I want to thank so many of you for the role that you played in making that happen and the role you're playing each and every day to keep workers safe. Today, instead of being together as, as a group, I'm filming remotely. And I thought it was apropos to film in front of our memorial bell. This is a bell that's rung just once a year at our annual Worker Memorial Day ceremony. And that's a ceremony where we invite family members of fallen workers, workers who died on the job in the past year to come together at Labor and Industries with business leaders, with worker advocates, with legislators to honor and remember their memory. At the end of our formal ceremony, we then invite family members to come out, gather around the bell, to ring the bell and to honor and sp sp spend some time speaking with other family members about their loved ones and, and their memory. It is an incredibly personal and incredibly emotional event. And for me and for so many of us at Labor and Industries, it is an incredibly important reminder that the work that we do, the work that we do in collaboration with you, the work that we do in collaboration with worker advocates to keep Washington safe and working is incredibly important. You know the expression, you can't ever unring a bell. And I believe that that's true. And I equally believe that all of you who are winners this week in various categories, the work that you do has ensured that come 2021, come 2022, we're gonna ring this bell fewer times. So thank you for that. And so now it's time for me to announce the winner of the Grand Safety Award. 
I asked for a drum roll, but um, wasn't able to get one. I asked for an envelope with the winner, wasn't able to get one. So you just stuck with me making the announcements. So it's my honor and pleasure to share with all of you that Excel Pacific is the 2020 grand prize winner of the AGC Safety Award. I wanna congratulate everyone at Excel. And I also wanna just take a moment to recognize the memory of Joe Sadler, the prior safety director at Excel. Many of you know Joe, many of you were, um, saw Joe as your mentor. He was someone that was very active in the safety community in AGC and beyond. And I hope that today's award is a reminder to all of us of the legacy that Joe has left and, and a reminder to all of us of our, our individual and group commitment to ensuring that workers across the state of Washington get to go home and go home safely. I was reminded of that importance when I was reading Excel's application. And one line in there really stuck out. And it was a, what, what, what the application said is, here at Excel, we don't believe it, you have to invest a ton of money to make safety work. But what you have to do is be willing to roll up your sleeves, get real, and be committed to making safety job one. So you've done that at Excel. You've excelled at focusing on safety. Congratulations. And I look forward to the opportunity where we can all get together sometime in the future to celebrate Excel, to celebrate so many of you, and to reconfirm and recommit to worker safety across Washington State. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks folks for allowing me to celebrate with you virtually the 2020 AGC Build Washington Awards. Also, of course, another big thank you to Moss Adams. Thank you for helping us with our virtual celebration. Hopefully next year we'll see everybody in person at the Museum of Flight. Congratulations to all of our winners. Thanks everybody, keep up the great work.